Muslim engineers. Muslims have had a great influence in the field of engineering. So in this short video, I'll be giving a few examples. In the 9th century in the city of Baghdad in Iraq, there was the House of Wisdom where people from all over the world, including Muslims, Christians and Jews, all gathered together to perform research, a bit similar to how you might think of a research center nowadays. Among them were the Benu Musa brothers who made a book called the Book of Ingenious Devices and among their devices was a pedestal and some tap that could disperse hot and cold water, a bit similar to how you might think of as a mixing tap nowadays. Their book inspired another book, a book of ingenious mechanical devices by Al Jazari who was another successful Muslim scientist. He made an interesting clock and they made a replica of it in the mall in Dubai. It's aimed to show the international nature of Islam. So there's an African elephant ridden by an Indian and there are dragons which are Chinese and a phoenix which is Greek. Among his devices apart from his clock was the crankshaft which is fundamental to engineering nowadays and without it you won't have inventions such as the car. Another successful Muslim engineer was Abbas ibn Farnas who lived in the area of Al-Andalus which is now part of Spain. During that time he attempted to fly but was not successful. He very badly injured himself but this was long before the Wright brothers were successful at making their first flight. One of the things that inspired many Muslim engineers was the annual pilgrimage or Hajj which is performed as obligation upon Muslims for whoever is able to do so. One such project was Darb Zubayda. That was in the 9th century during the time of the Abbasids in Iraq. She was the wife of the famous leader Harun al-Rashid. During that time, she built 400 wells between the area of Baghdad and Hail in Saudi Arabia to make pilgrimage easier for pilgrims coming from Iraq. She financed the entire project by herself and is named after her known as Darb Zubaydah. Traces of it can still be seen today such as in the city of Hail in Saudi Arabia as well as Rafah. Another example was during the time of the Ottoman Empire in Turkey. There was the Sultan Abdul Hamid II. He commissioned the establishment of the Hijaz Railway. The railway aimed to help pilgrims traveling from Turkey all the way down to the city of Medina in Saudi Arabia. Traces of the Hijaz Railway can still be seen today such as in the city of Medina in the Hijaz Railway Museum. Nowadays the Saudi government performs many projects to improve the experience for the pilgrims such as during the campsite in Mina where many pilgrims go. Up to about 4 million pilgrims go there per year. All the tents now are air conditioned and fireproofed. There are also attempts to build many modern high-tech trains traveling between the cities of Makkah and Medina to make matters easier for pilgrims. In modern times there have also been a number of successful engineers such as Fadl Rahman Khan who was an American but originally from Bangladesh. He designed many buildings such as the Sears Tower in Chicago and much of the Chicago skyline. Another example is Nasra Awil, a Canadian Somali who was a consultant for the Al Nakhil group who was responsible for many mega projects such as the Palm Islands in Dubai. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel.